everyone welcome to my channel bios logos so today here i am with another video but before starting please do like share and subscribe my video thank you now if you remember my previous video where we discussed few things about animal classification there were terms like cold blooded and warm blooded so today i will cover few differences between cold blooded and warm blooded let's start so as you can see here this is a kind of tabular difference between cold blooded and warm blooded so when we talk about constant temperature cold blooded cannot maintain constant temperature whereas warm blooded can maintain constant temperature now the next point is energy cold blooded obtain energy from the surrounding environment whereas warm blooded obtain energy from the food consumption the third point is body temperature cold blooded varies with the temperature of the surrounding whereas warm blooded maintain body temperature between 35 to 40 degree celsius now come to the fourth point rate of metabolism so what is metabolism first of all as we all know our body need energy to do everything from moving to thinking to growing so the metabolism is the whole sum of reactions that occur throughout the body within each cell and that provide the body with energy so come to the point rate of metabolism cold blooded changes with the change in environment when we talk about rate of metabolism whereas warm blooded environment changes do not affect now the next point is survive cold blooded they cannot su sustain in extreme temperature conditions whereas warm blooded they are able to maintain a constant body temperature like first one now when we talk about examples cold blooded includes reptiles insects fish and amphibians whereas warm blooded includes birds and mammals so this is all about cold blooded and warm blooded see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye